Tullis started off with uh, an, an idea which uh, came across when I was uh, meeting some bankers in London years ago and uh, they were talking about the fact that um, a lot of major oil companies had been drilling for oil in Africa and gas and, and uh, left behind some small marginal fields um, that were too small for them to develop. So I went to, uh, to Senegal with the World Bank and looked at the project that they had there. It was a huge uh, success for us. You know, we learned an awful lot. We worked very closely with the National Oil Company, uh, worked very closely with local communities. It's on the basis of that that we actually built the culture and we built the way of, of doing business. We focus very much on, on getting local staff and, and, uh, and building up a local team, on training uh, people locally. We worked very closely with the communities and that helped us quite a lot and built a very good relationship with the government. So I think it's a, those sort of things that worked for us at the, the start became part of our culture going forward and have helped us to grow the business over the years. Talo has a lot to show for its deliberate policy of investing in relationships and local knowledge across Africa. This tends to find expression in the way and manner we are received, trusted and treated with respect in the countries that we operate in. I think the early years was so, so different. We found a lot of challenges, um, a lot of misunderstandings. When we eventually got the project up and running and got going, um, it was very difficult to find uh, any finance for it. Nobody would supply finance. One of the challenges that we had at the start is that there was no, there was no service companies. There was no oil and gas industry. It, it became obvious to us that if we were to be a major player in Africa in the long term, that we really had to make sure that the supply side services uh, were built up in African businesses um, and make sure that we had as many African businesses as possible. To overcome these challenges, we support our partner countries by investing in training and capacity building programs for relevant state institutions and also through the Talo Group Scholarship Scheme. The local population has to get the benefit straight away, a very transparent benefit from it. The best way of doing that is the services. Um, so working with the government to make sure that the incentives are in there for local businesses to get involved, that they encourage it. Uh, that the education system is in place, that there's training courses in place. The oil industry is a long-term ter business, or it should be a long-term business, and our success um, has been looking at things on a long-term basis. Africans typically have long memories, and they always remember those companies who stick around with them through thick and thin. So if you want to grow your business in Africa, then you need to have patience. You need to take a long-term view and act with integrity and respect for the cultural sensitivities of the people. That is the Talo way, and it certainly works for us. We're an exploration business. What we decided a long time ago is that we focus our exploration efforts on, on, uh, on Africa. So what we wanted to do was to set up a team of people that were the most knowledgeable on exploration in Africa. We picked a few types of geology that we liked and we felt that we had the expertise in uh, and that led us to um, countries and basins in Africa that had never been explored before. Taking a country from being a non-producer of oil to a producer of oil is an absolutely fantastic experience. I think if I had my time back, I would have focused on Africa and built a bigger business in Africa earlier on. Invest in Africa was an idea that uh, came up talking with a lot of governments. You know, it was, it was very obvious to everybody in that there was a misconceptions about Africa, but there was a misconceptions about the investment opportunities. Invest in Africa was a, an initiative that was set up to try and change those misconceptions, um, to try and, and help um, both the governments in attracting investment and, and to help the outside world in looking and investing in Africa. We talk to companies all the time in all the countries that we're involved in. And they have a lot of issues in relation to supplying of services, in attracting finance, in, in getting the banking industry to understand the attractiveness of the countries, uh, in, in trying to set up relationships with local companies. It's in all our interest to make sure that as many investors as, as possible are getting involved in all the countries that we're involved in. So this is a way of helping them and I think 
it's a cooperative. You know, it gets everybody together. There's a whole continent here with huge investment opportunities. You have a spark that's there. You've got a continent where um, communication has started. Everybody is talking and it is building up a huge groundswell of young people who want to get involved in business. And that's exciting, it's a real buzz. I'm getting old, but I'll tell you, when I go down there, I feel I get younger.